Hey bourbon fans, I'm Tim the Suburban Dad. Not all great bourbon has to be expensive. I have two bottles here today that are fantastic. Early Times Bottled in Bond and Very Old Barton 100 Proof. These bottles are bargain buys for sure, but man, do they taste good. Let's see which one really wins out today. Let's get to it. Now this isn't gonna to be totally unbiased because I'm not doing a blind tasting. I just rather do a side by side and see what I think of these two to be able to just compare them back and forth. So both of these have a very classy screw on, screw off lid. This one's a little stuck. And yeah, you know, typically you'd think, okay, screw off lid, already a little hesitant. Early times, this comes in liter bottles. This one was about $23. Like, that's hard to beat. Even at a 750 ml bottle. This one, 750 ml, about 13, 14 bucks is what I got this for. Now, I've seen it as high as like 18, but uh, you can still find it pretty cheap. You can find it under $15 if you look for it. Both these are 100 proof. And fun fact about the early times, this one, apparently there was a transition from the old version to the new version. Over the years, it's undergone several different transitions, but recently, I think it was 2019, where um, they switched things up. The bottle is a little different. Fun fact, it has the same mash bill as King of Kentucky and Michter's One Bourbon. This one was aged at least four years. This one has no age statement on it. It used to be four or six years old, but they've since done away with the, they've since done away with the age statement on this one. So just 100 proof, assuming it's at least four years old. All right, so starting with the early times, Hmm, it's a light nose, definitely not a strong ethanol kick. Fruity on the nose, cherry, strawberry-ish, maybe like cherry Pop-Tart almost. Mm -hmm. So, here's that, clear out my nose. Uh, Varel Barton. Okay, again, not a ton of ethanol kick on this one, which is nice. Not as sweet smelling. I know in the past when I've had this, it doesn't come off as sweet, and that's the way the nose is. Kind of hard to pinpoint exact profile there. Let's go ahead and just have a taste. Early times first. Fruit up front, a little bit of sweet, some caramel, some pastry baked good notes. Pretty well balanced. Pretty decent. A little bit of a Kentucky hug. Mouthfeel, definitely not super oily coating, but it's not thin and wimpy either. It's, it's kind of middle of the road. I'd say moderate to moderate light on that one for the mouthfeel. Overall pleasant, easy to drink, fruity, some pastry notes. That's what I'm getting there. Decent finish though. I'm still experiencing the finish, so that is Pretty dang good. Now the very old Barton. Not nearly as sweet on this one. Kind of peppery, kind of grainy. Yeah, like more of the savory side of baked goods. It's interesting, I get kind of, both these have a pastry or bread or baked good quality to them. This one's more sweet fruity. This one's more peppery, savory. It's like if you got a, I don't know, cherry muffin versus an everything bagel, something like that. These are both really good. They're both very unique in their own way. This one is very not sweet, and yet I still enjoy it as a bourbon, which some of you might really go for sweet or that caramel notes when you're going for a bourbon, but this one is not really that. 
The other times is softer on the tongue, more velvety and sweet. Honestly, it's interesting when I try these side by side like this, I really like the early times better. I think I just prefer more that sweet and fruity note to a bourbon, some caramel, as compared to more of it, like I said, savory. Between the two, again, it's not a blind tasting. But early times, pretty dang good. They're both good. I, would, I have and I will continue to drink both of these neat because they're that good. As far as we talked about price, availability, Early Times Bottle and Bond is not available in Missouri, as far as I know. Definitely not around the St. Louis area. I got this one in Kansas City when I was out there in Kansas. This one is available in the St. Louis area. It's uncommon. I found it at Dirt Cheap and Total Wine. And I think they had it at Dogwood, a local place on Highway K, if you're out there. It's also in Illinois, a lot more prevalently. So, if you see either of these, grab them. They're so cheap, you will not be disappointed. And if you are, oh well, it's cheap. Don't whine about it. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss out on any future content. And until next time, cheers. Mm -hmm.